All right. I don't know. I don't know why it says this one is called New Recording Eleven and the last one is New Recording Forty Five. But in a in a perfect world, uh, this doesn't record, <laughs> and and we it, it becomes our our cool lost episode. Like the like the show lost like like the show lost. It's it's got a really intriguing first season, then sort of peters out and really pisses you off by the end of it. I feel like they finished stronger than Game of Thrones, though. I accepted that ending more than I accepted the Game of Thrones ending. Um. Yeah, I don't know. If I don't know, we, do, do we any, can get into it. Do any shows end well? Some, but not that many. Yeah. Seinfeld, bad ending. Yeah. Sopranos, bad ending. Sopranos was very divisive. Some people liked it. Sure. I I guess it it left it open for additional stuff. Well, either it left it open or he's dead. Well, I mean, he's dead, so... Well, he is dead, so it's not that open for it anymore. He's fucking dead. But, But at the time, like, it's it could have been that... The, the tense thing they were building up to just happened. Or it didn't, and they carried on. It's, it's one of the two, but yeah, you don't know. But yeah, Dexter, Dexter bad. Dexter, very bad. Uh, uh, I think most people think Breaking Bad's bad. No, I don't, I don't think no. so, actually. I think people like oh, I thought bad. a lot of people thought it was bad. I mean, because there, there wasn't enough, like, because, uh, you know, Hank and, uh, like, the the interaction of like how he, he got killed like away from everything else. Spoiler alert: Hank gets killed. Um, Look, if you haven't watched Breaking Bad, that's no longer that's on all, us. Also, we're going to talk about Game of Thrones in a second. That was a few weeks ago. Yeah. So. But like you know, because he gets killed like away from the main Walter White stuff, and didn't a lot of people want it to be them involved at the end? Yeah, I think so. Like, I, I'm sure there were complaints, and I'm sure, like, some people legitimately didn't like it, but I, I think on the whole, it's regarded as one of the better endings of major shows. Got, gotcha. I'm just trying to think of, like, what is a show that actually has a really solid ending? I'm trying to think. There must be... So, oh, um, The Leftovers. Yeah, I didn't watch The Leftovers. It's great. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's what... It's what Lost wasn't. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Because, hmm. like, X-Files was also bad. Yeah, well... Ex- I mean, the X-Files for the last several yeah, seasons... Yeah, it, it tanked bad. when they lost to Covney. They had to, like, when they moved, switch and when, everything yeah, up. It was just terrible. And when that cunt made them move to L.A. Looking at you, Tia Leone. Ugh, she's gross. Uh, Madam Secretary, if that is your real name. Woman from Jurassic Park 3. Ooh. Do you also confuse Tia Leone and Leah Thompson? No. Or is that just me? No. Is I do it because... Leah Thompson's they're... fucking Back to the Future, man. How well, am I going to forget that? Here's the thing. I didn't watch Back to the Future until I was 32. So, like, ten, ten years ago. Yeah. Okay. But still, like... it. So it has no... Gotcha. N- like, nostalgia or relevance okay. for me. So, like, like... I eventually watched it because a guy at my work, like, would not leave... Wouldn't leave, leave me alone until yeah, yeah. I watched it. So, does that mean that you didn't know who Crispin Glover was for 32 years? Because what else would you know him from? Uh, Simon Says, the horror movie that a uh, friend of the show, uh, Kevin, Chris Mason, Aerodonis, made me watch with him one night. And, you know, it was, it was a fun night. Uh, would do again. Mm. Willard, the remake of Willard. I also saw that, yeah. Mm. Uh, it, it, having never seen Back to the Future, Crispin Glover was still my favorite actor. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, like, I mean, every, I, every show I feel like I watch, like, didn't have relevance enough to have a good ending. Right. Because, like, I, like, I watched The League, but The League, like, the ending was just the ending. Like, it wasn't anything yeah, the, big, you know? And, like... And uh, the thing with a lot of comedies comedy. is they don't need... Because there's not a lot of plot. There's not a lot of overarching plot, no. anyway. It's like, yeah, The League was good all the way through, but, like... The ending was like the same as any of the episodes. Uh, hot, hot take. I don't know if this is a hot take Hit or it. not. Because I don't know what other pe- people's go, opinions are. Go off, King. I really liked the ending of House. Yeah, I liked House. Yeah, I think the House ending was good. House is good. Yep. Uh, I mean, I think the last two seasons were kind of like hit and miss, up and down. Yeah, but I no, think I it think was it, a very House ending. It did. It finished well. Yeah, I remember getting the most. Like I always liked House. Um, the most psyched I was about it was probably a couple seasons in. It was like a f- finale, and 
premiere of the next season when he started taking ketamine. Yeah. And it fixed his leg. Yeah. But I don't remember how it stopped. Or just like it... Or, or it actually literally did just like stop working. It, it was only like a temporary thing. I think it stopped... Like, you think he had to keep upping the dose and then at the I, end of that season was when he went to the like mental institution thing. Right. And then he started the first season there but then got let out and then... Yeah. So I think he was... Because it wasn't the end of the season that he had overdosed in his bathroom and he hallucinated that he didn't and that him and Cuddy were together. Yes. And then she... Then in, in actuality, he, he had, had like, overdosed. Had driven into a... a no, building? he was in his bathroom or whatever. Okay. And then she had to come... She came to his house and, like, saved him. But then the start... The next season was him, like, rehabbing in that hospital. Right. Yeah. I feel like that's what it was. Yeah. And then there's another good... It was either a two-parter or, again, like, a finale and premiere where Wilson's, like... Girlfriend? girlfriend the boss? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. That was and, that like, was two parts. And they were backtracking to what and, like, happened. super bleak. Real bleak. The yeah. ending was real fucked up. And, like, the whole time he's and hallucinating... That was, where, like, that was where, like, Wilson, like, sort of, like, broke up with House for yes, a bit. For, like, the, ma- the, yeah, for the, the next like, season. I, like, I don't, like, I don't think we're friends and I don't think we ever really were. Mm-hmm. Or something. I was like, oh, yeah. damn. Because, like, the whole episode was that nobody could find her. Yeah. And House had mysteriously gotten hurt, but, like, he didn't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was just backtracking from this bus accident that had happened and the reason why that bus accident happened was he had gotten fucked up drunk at some place and couldn't get home right he couldn't get a hold of Wilson so he like randomly because she was one of his like understudies right or something yeah that's what that's what they call that's what they call it hospitals understudies yeah in case the doctor's out you fill the role I'll be (laughs) my understudy will be attending to you (laughs) but uh and then so he had called her and she had to come pick him up and then, like, but they went on the bus? No, she went to pick him up and got drunk with him because he, like, tricked her into yeah, yeah, getting yeah. drunk. It, yeah. And then they took the bus home and then the bus accident. But, yeah, yeah, that was a really good season. I really liked that one. Yeah. Uh, I also really did like the season where he was trying to find his new, like, Chase Cameron and... Yep. Uh, no, crap, why am I forgetting what Omar Epps' name was? Uh... Do- d- 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 <laughs> Dr. Africa? <laughs> Is that it? Chase Cameron and uh, Boogie Mike's Mike's brother. Mike's brother. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not all the shows end well. And then also, did, like Game did, of Thrones didn't end well. I didn't watch Mad Men. Is it regarded I, to have I ended also, well? I also didn't watch Mad Men. I I don't even know if I pay attention to what people said about it. Yeah, I can't remember if people liked it or not. What was the ending? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Maybe John Hamm died. Maybe he didn't. Yeah, kind of sounds familiar. Yeah. Get out of here. Um, and then, yeah, good? and then Game of Thrones fucking sucked. So, yeah. The, I like that this wasn't even the reason why we started recording. We started recording because we were having an interesting conversation about... We're talking about jerking off? Foreman. Eric Foreman. Just like that 70s show. <laughs> Same name? Same name. <laughs> I forgot about that. But, like, that 70s show came on... Before several years before yeah. House, I don't know. You just, so like, you just write it. They and knew, and you do it. There was another TV character. They might have even overlapped. How far did that '70s show go? Uh, they definitely overlapped. I'm gonna say House premiered. House was 2004. 2004, 2012. By the way, 2004, huge TV year. That was House Lost, and uh, I think another big one. Monk. No. But I, I can't. I two broke girls. But. <laughs> two, uh, two broke girls. How that, many seasons? Two broke girls did like a lot of seasons. Yeah, that right? seventy show was ninety eight two thousand six. So there was literally two years yeah. where there were two characters on network television. Yeah. Named Eric, Eric Foreman. Foreman. One was a doctor, though. That's true, and not the one you'd think. <laughs> for <laughs> holy shit, two broke girls was on for six seasons, a hundred and thirty eight episodes. That is that yeah. is the next season of this podcast. We're watching one episode and then of we're two broke two girls. girls and then we're going. I through. mean, it's shorter than Nitro, but it's, it's only twenty minutes. Who uh, who are the girls? Cat Dennings, Cat Von D, and the other one is Cat Von D. Cat Dennings, or are they no. different people? Cat Von D is like the tattoo chick. Does Cat Dennings have tattoos? 
Maybe? I'm trying to make a case for them being the same person. I don't think so. Uh, both black hair, and both pale skin, both look similar body structures. Have they been seen in the same place at the same time? Maybe. Tattoo Maybe. conventions? <laughs> Television parties? Ooh, TV parties. I can't wait till we start getting invited to TV parties. I don't know if we're getting invited to TV parties. I hate to be the one to tell you that, but... And then the, then the blonde one was the, the other one. one. I don't know. Tegan from Tegan and Sarah? Dog Dennings. <laughs> They were sisters. <laughs> ah! Good jokes. Uh, yeah, so we were, we were talking about jerking off, right? Is yeah. that why we wanted to start recording? Yeah, well, we, we were having the conversation of... How you shouldn't take anyone's phone? Well, how, yeah, like, if you think about it... Well, it started with, uh, if you... I shouldn't shake hands with a friend of mine. Because... Because I know for a fact... He fists his gay partner. That friend... That friend's gay partner is very very good at getting fisted and I and the friend is doing the lion's share of the work so yeah. uh, but I, I don't know I feel like they're washers Beth Bears have you ever heard of her before what the fuck uh, she was in Beth Bears was the star of a network show for six years yep I'm gonna say I'm, I'm betting we've never seen her in anything no Big Bang Theory Sounds right. Hello, my name is Doris. I don't know what that is. Uh, I mean, she's a voice in Monsters University. I mean, I've seen Who it, isn't? but yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of. She was in Castle. She was in CIS Los Angeles. I know you watched that. You're a big Chris O'Donnell fan. I was trying to think which one that was. Oh, and NCIS. You said CIS and really oh, confused me. Sorry, NCIS. You like that's like the two different ones. That is it. That's the only thing she's in. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you've seen her because you like NCIS Los Angeles. You're a big LL Cool J fan. Uh, no, La- I, I, I'm ladies a, love Cool J. I'm I'm a big LL Cool J. <laughs> the but yeah. So it was that, and then also that you should never touch your friends' phones because, because most people, uh, in the words of Lil Dicky, uh, jerk off mobily. But he doesn't. But he doesn't. But other people. Do. Yeah. Do so. You shouldn't touch their phone. Although cause... he does, because he was lying in, yeah. in the song. Because he typed in you. They typed in you, and you porn came also, up. Also, also, why is he Google searching YouTube? You can just install YouTube the app. YouTube app on your phone, Dicky. What are you doing? Are you like some fucking retard who, when they go to Facebook <laughs> on their phone, goes HTTP colon slash slash www full uh, stop Facebook? I believe it's pronounced full, w, 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 w w full stop Facebook full stop com. Is yes. that what you're doing? That is what you're doing. Anyone who does that is, is that what you're doing? Is the, a mental. Is retarded. that what you're doing? The third person is usually on this podcast. <laughs> it's funny. He's not going to listen. And won't to listen it. to this. <laughs> For years, <laughs> on his phone, Kelly would open the browser and full on type. I don't think he was doing HTTP. That was Dan. That was. I think he was just typing yeah. in www.facebook.com. Yeah, that 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 was Dan on on desk and laptop. And then logging in every time. Yes, not even staying yeah. logged in. Yeah. I, I appreciate the added security, but what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, then I was saying, I don't jerk off mobily, I'm a, I'm a desktop J-O-er, mm-hmm. uh, which is funny because that's the only time top and, and sex apply to me in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but then I remembered when uh, when I w- had an office job, I would jerk off in the public bathroom a lot. <laughs> so public or staff? What do you mean? What do like, you is there a staff one that's only for staff, or it was a public one that was for both pe- people? I mean, it or would, was it both? It would be used mostly by staff, not exclusive to staff of my office because it was just in the middle of the building. Oh, okay. So gotcha. so it was uh, a building bathroom. Yeah. So other people were shitting in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've, I normally wouldn't do it if there was someone in the stall beside me, but sometimes I would. I was going to say, why does that stop you? I'm noisy. I mean, sure. <laughs> you got your feet up and you're kicking the walls. <laughs> yeah. You know? And just making like weird noises. I guess that's true. Yeah. I growl. Uh, there's, yeah, that's, 
There was definitely a guy I used to work with that we only had one washroom, so it was like unisex. But it was you, li- you and I sex. You and I sex. It was literally just like a, essentially just. Like, Are we gonna deal with these hiccups or what? I don't go away. <laughs> uh, it's literally just like a closet, mm-hmm. and so everybody used it. But like, if he went in there, you you knew what he was you doing. knew. Like also because he was there for forty five minutes. He was never really in there for a long time, but he like he would go in and come out, and he would be like. Kind of a little sweaty and kind of a little red faced, you know. <laughs> like you would tell that he'd been in, like unless he was really constipated all the time and just like forcing it out. Yeah, just giving himself. But like his, you know, red face, a little like you know, you know, some some dabbing needed to be happening <laughs> on his head, and then. But yeah, it was uh, it was very obvious to everyone, and like my boss at one point did say to him Ooh, just sort of like that is a conversation like, yeah it, but it wasn't like blatantly saying like uh you know that thing you do oh maybe don't do it here See, I'm pitch- it, was, it was more of a like you you seem to be taking a lot of bathroom breaks and it's really cutting into the work day so oh. if you could sort of I'm, like i'm picturing this conversation mm-hmm. happening to me and i'm cringing so hard like i'm oh I'm, i would die i would just die i, don't I felt like i was very good about it i don't know what i would do i think i would just laugh like, I would just be like, <laughs> okay, so you got me. <laughs> like, yeah, I, uh, no, I think it would that. Red-handed. And, and then leave forever, because <laughs> I could never show my face again. <laughs> I, uh... Did you get distracted? No. <laughs> just the... <laughs> There's... <laughs> There's family outside, so if I'm going to tell some stories, I don't want them to hear it. Um, let's just say, over the course of my adult life, I have frequented a site known as My Free Cams. <laughs> and when... It's your homepage. When you're watching a girl uh, and other people tip... Yeah. If you have the volume on, you get like a ching 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 noise, jingle, you know, sound, like yeah. a little uh, putting money in jar yeah. kind of noise. And yeah, then the the <laughs> I wish I could have just said it without getting the giggles Aww. first. The Israeli national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> Israel's the bad guy. Um, and so what I remember one time was I was uh, in this very bed in this very bedroom. Should I get off the bed right now? Eh. Also, maybe not that pillow. Should we not be shaking hands anymore? (laughs) We shouldn't be shaking hands. But then that means we shouldn't be kissing. So, no more kisses. Hmm. You can kiss Kelly still. Just not me. But it's the same thing with Kelly's sweet spot. You know? He won't let us in there because he knows what goes on. There's a reason. I'm not ashamed of what goes on in here. everyone's safety. Yeah. Uh, But, (laughs) I thought I was home alone. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) And I was under the covers. So, Uh there was no exposure to the room. But... I was watching my free cams. <laughs> there was a knock on the door. Oh. And I panicked. So I just threw my phone under the pillow. And then just like... It was un- phone, not even laptop. It was phone. And then I just like unpaused the TV so that it yeah. would like make noise. Sure. And then just like, uh, yep. And then my mom came in to talk to me. Uh-huh. And somebody decided to tip the girl. Jingle. Just like, you know, like like one, 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 oh. one, one, one. So it was literally boom, just boom, boom, making boom. that yeah, noise. Yeah. And like, I don't know if my mom heard it or not, but like, she didn't ask me about it, but like all I could hear sure. was that from under the pillow. Oh, it was boy. muffled. Yeah. And maybe only I could hear it because I was laying right like there. right there yeah. and she was like at the door. But the whole time I was like, oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so like one funny test that I've always wanted to do is just like, if, if I knew that any of my friends used that or a similar site, yeah. but they had a girlfriend or a wife mm-hmm. was I would go over there and then like let the wife in on the joke and then just play like make sure mm. that that noise would play and just see what their facial reactions would be <laughs> just be like you know if your boyfriend or husband reacts to this noise you clearly know what he's been doing <laughs> <laughs> it's a very specific noise it's a very specific noise to those sites <laughs> Anyways, that's my uh, that's my getting <laughs> getting down and dirty. Um, what else we're talking about? Oh, uh, how uh, strangers aren't kidnapping kids anymore. Yeah, what's the deal with that? What happened to stranger danger? Maybe just nobody cares anymore. So they're just like you know, it's is, not. Is it's the not population even, big enough that we've just stopped? It's we've stopped worrying it's about it. It's not news anymore. It's not newsway. Well, my thoughts are maybe just that like. There's so many other things in the world people are concerned about that, like, it's not even a thrill for the people that are doing it. Because, hmm. like, part of the thrill is, like, you know, the, I'm getting away with this. Yeah. You know, like, they're never going to catch me while I'm, you know, impregnating this 12-year-old. And then now, but now it's just, Specific. like, no one's even going to know. So it's, like... So what's even... Oh, I mean, I could do it, but, like, nobody's going to know or that I I'm could, a sex or I criminal. Could, or I could just go to Chili's. 
Like, who cares? Yeah. 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 Like, my day is either kidnap a child for sexual release or, or go get eat a chili. back, baby back, baby back ribs. I want mine. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, it's real disappointing. I remember it being a big issue when we were kids. Yeah. And my mom was genuinely concerned. We were in constant danger yeah. of getting well, stolen. Because then you got Phil Donahue. You yeah. got uh, John Walsh. John Walsh. There was a third one, too, right? Wasn't there another guy? Didn't Didn't the guy from Unsolved Mysteries have his son, like, murdered? That's John Walsh. No, Unsolved Mysteries is the other guy. John Walsh was America's Most Wanted. No, I mean, John Walsh had his kid. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think... Um... Pull his name. You can do it. Your autism's there. Oh, I can see him. I can see him in his face, too. Uh, uh, Clark? Robert. Robert Patrick? It's not Robert T-1000? Patrick. It's not Robert Patrick. Patrick Wilson? It's, uh... He was also in Airplane. God... Damn it, Robert. Robert Tra- no, Robert. It's Robert, I think. It's not Robert Blake. That's the guy that murdered his yes wife. That guy was probably on Unsolved Mysteries. Robert Stack. Stack. I knew it was close to Robert Blake. Yeah, it was Robert Stack. Uh, R.I.P. 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 One of the real good, ones. Good fucking theme song though. Awesome theme song. It's yeah. real good. I always secretly wanted to ha- come out to that as my wrestling It's theme. a good one. Uh, I mean, gonna... if you stole more kids, maybe you could. Yeah, that's true. But as uh, we said, nobody cares anymore. He was a Marine. He died of prostate cancer. He was very close friends with Rob- Robert... Ronald. Oh. Reagan. McDonald. <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, 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 I don't know. It doesn't say anything about dead kids, but I assume... I, I think that's John Walsh. Oh, uh, yeah. John Walsh is both. Kidnapped and murdered. Yes. And Donahue's was kidnapped and never found. Oof. Is that what it was? Something like that. Um, great uncle of Taryn Killam. Uh, Donahue or... No, uh, Robert Sack. Interesting. <laughs> so that's how he got his break. <laughs> what a dumb piece of his, like, trivia on IMDb. Had never appeared in a film nominated for Best Picture Oscar. So have a lot of people. Hmm. <laughs> what? Nice piece of trivia there. <laughs> sounds stupid. sounds pretty trivial to me. Okay, I'm editing the podcast. <laughs> I wonder if you did. I, I, did, I, did, I, did, I hit the corner. It, not it, the, it, 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 um, made a, it made a flash. I've never seen it make before. <laughs> I don't know what I, you did. I hit it too hard. Uh, Phil Donahue uh, had. Oh, uh, is he? He's, he's not R.I.P. Is he? He's not. No, nah, he's around. Oh, he's old. He's uh, old, but he's he's kicking around. What do you got here? Uh, why why is there not enough information about his kidnapped son? Does is there anything about his kidnapped son, or did you make that up? Maybe I am making it up. I really thought maybe he had it's a kidnapped all son. John Wall. Maybe you've, maybe like, just John Wall amalgamated is, everyone is into one John guy Walsh. for me. Uh, let's see, we got here the fifties. Nope, fifties. Nope, it was definitely the eighties. Um. Phil Donahue, nope, thank you, get out of here. Body of War, I don't know what that is. Personal Life, and... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, apparently he's Catholic, cool. Uh, oh, an, an Irish guy is Catholic? I, who, wow. Who would have guessed? Well, maybe I'm just... Uh, he supported Ralph Nader two elections ago, that's what it just said. Two elections ago? Or, like, whatever the last election he... 2000 and... Six. Was that an election year? Nope. Oh. <laughs> that's, an, uh, that's, a, that's a World Cup year. My bad. It's a midterm. Were you, were you less psyched about the 06 midterms? Democrats took yeah. back some of the House. Does that, does that get you going? Let's see what the internet has told me. About Donahue and Ralph Nader? Yeah. Uh, what? I don't know what this is. Um, just keep, keep talking. This is nothing. What have you? What What made you make that reaction? I, know, I was reading something wrong. Uh, <laughs> Phil Donahue was president from occasionally what 1987 until 2001. I don't know. I could have sworn Phil Donahue's kid was also kidnapped and raped and eaten, and then returned <laughs> safely. <laughs> returned, kidnapped, raped, eaten, returned <laughs> safely, safely, <Ooh. laughs> safely. Only part of them was eaten, not the whole thing. Um, but yeah. 
Anyways, well, another question I had. Cause this is, oh, yeah, you, you had questions. Well, this is, like, a question for debate of, like, the greatest debates of all time. Like, this is right up there with, like, pro-life, pro-choice. And you are a master debater. I am a master of debating. Yeah. Um, is it... Well, uh, is it gay if... Obviously, the question starts like that. <laughs> the answer is probably yes. Prob- the answer but is yes. Go on. Um... Hmm, do I want to put this out there on the internet for people to hear We've me We've come say? this far, just do it. <laughs> Rip the band-aid. Okay, first of all, I would just like to say, whatever I'm about to say, I'm not condoning. I sure. just want to hear the world's opinion. opinions. Like... Are we, do, we, do we want fans to send their opinions in? On this subject? Yeah, I would okay. like, I'd like a response in the comments below. Alright, so comment on the YouTube video, or... Um... Or 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 uh or leave it in an iTunes review on the show. Those are the two yes. things to do. Or on the Facebook page. We don't have a Facebook. Page. Yeah, on the Facebook page. Nope. <laughs> YouTube or iTunes. Twitter. Thank you. Uh, nope. No. YouTube, um, iTunes. Preferably iTunes because uh reviews matter. Do better for it. Uh, what if? Let's say you're like in your 30s or 40s, and you're married, and you've been married for a long time. Okay, so far I check all of these boxes. Uh, you do. Yeah. Maybe I'm talking about you. Go on. <laughs> Let's say that you find nude pictures of your wife when she was like 15 or 16. The, the I see where this is going. This is such an easy answer, but continue. Yes. I, oh, I know what your answer is. I mean, anyway. And I know what my answer is, <laughs> but I don't know what the world's answer is. Okay. Are and you we're going allowed, 15, 16? Are you allowed to masturbate on that? I, I, there, I couldn't more strongly answer yes. I totally agree with you. <laughs> She's your wife. Your wife. You own her. <laughs> you, she is your property. Legally, she is your property. She is your property. You're, she has to do whatever you, you tell her you to do. You paid a dowry for her. Yeah. yeah, you bought a water buffalo and yep. a box full of linens. <laughs> yep. And you own her and... All previous incarnations of her yeah. in perpetuity, past and future. Yes. So you can jerk off to future pictures of her. Yes. Oh. Once we get that technology, <laughs> or if you like, put her or say she gets kidnapped. Okay. And then and she's gone for fifteen years, and they do a computer simulation of what she might look like now. Can you jerk <laughs> off to that? A hundred percent. What would be really funny is if you took a, took like a nude picture of her to them and said, <laughs> Please use "Can you one. age this fifteen years?" And then it's like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm not looking for her anymore. Like she's aged horribly. <laughs> yeah, call it off. <laughs> Go off the search. She's safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I hope my non-existent wife gets kidnapped. <laughs> but only after she's left me nudes. Of course. Like, I, I gotta do this. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> so yes, yeah. of course you can jerk off to child porn of your wife. I mean, it's not child porn. It's... I mean, legally it is. <sighs> but... <laughs> Legal is such a, like, a legal term. It's such a term. loose... <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, what if you go to a country... What if you go to the, a playground what if, and... <laughs> <laughs> what if you go to a country where, like, the legal age of consent is, like, I don't know, let's say, let's say seven. Maybe a country like, I, I don't know, Nigeria. Did you say seven? That's the legal age of consent in Nigeria is seven. Is that real? I think so. I think I read it somewhere. As long as you think so and think you read it somewhere. I read it somewhere. <laughs> Um, and then... So that's Stormfront. Though. And then you find the pictures. Yeah. It's legal co- age of consent there. It's legal there. Then it's not kitty porn. Are you there? Yeah. You're fine. And it's not kitty porn. Because they're well above... That's indulging in the culture. Yeah. You're just, you know, uh, Rome wasn't built in the day. I mean, at this, uh, while you're there, you should also, like, amass a child army and perform a clitoral circumcision. That's a rough one. <laughs> I mean, when in... Nigeria. <laughs> I hope right? that the one Nigerian friend I have doesn't listen to this podcast. Yeah. You're gonna have a real I, I don't. You're gonna have a real Nigerian nightmare on your hands. Ooh. I think there there's like a random team on the East Coast, the Nigerian nightmares. Just like two like huge like Yeah, it's not sure they were the headhunters, but they they looked like yeah. the headhunters, yeah. Just like two massive black guys. What are what are you usually You know, you were surprisingly not that far off with the age of consent in Nigeria. It's eleven. Oh my god. So you're thinking seven eleven. 
I was thinking 7 Eleven. Never forget. Uh, it is the lowest age of consent in the world. Sick. Uh, the funny, high- how, funny how you had that off the top of your head. Do you know what the highest is, though? South Korea, 20. 20? 20. I love that just, like, Asia just, like, removed pussy. It says... Just, like, there's no more fucking in Eastern Asia. No. Like, China... Because ki- they don't want to. China killed all the girls. Yeah. And just built factories out of them. Yeah. And, like, Korea doesn't fuck. Japan. J- Japan stopped fucking after the bomb. Because it could. Because they could. Because they can't get it Because they don't work. Oh, man, that's another thing we gotta get into. <laughs> <laughs> that's hitting close to home. Ugh. But, uh, I know, like, God, I don't know how many times, like, we, the thing is, we do these podcasts so, like, separated over time. The, the last... Even from the first one to now, we've probably done Age of Consent a bunch of times. Oh, Age of Consent has certainly made its way into the podcast. Our, our last Nitro, we recorded on March 23rd. Nice. It's June now. Nice. We're really on pace to end by the end of 2018. We also started recording this podcast... More than two years yeah. ago. Yep. So we could bank a bunch. So we, so we could, could just be on. have them on time yeah. and be done in December so let's, 2018. Let's not record anymore until we get to November then, because then we can do them on time in November, December. I see. I like the way you think. Uh, Korea, 20, but Japan, 13. So, oh, you freaky Japan. So it's weird because like, they're literally right there. Yeah. Uh, but also the Philippines is 12. Nice. That makes sense to me. Thailand? Thailand isn't on the list, so it's got to be higher than 13. Or there's just, like, it's just a great... There there is some countries that don't have an age Uh because there's no stated age. Yeah, it's like Canada and abortions. Is that that what we do in abortions? Like, we just don't have anything on the books so you can have them? Yeah. Yeah. Is this one just going to give me a list of everything? Where, which, as we now know, of course, is wrong, and... That abortions need to be made completely illegal. I don't know if that's true. As but... several United States, well, are and also possibly doing. our next all the, all the, pri- our next prime minister, possibly. All the co- I, I don't know. Can can someone that right wing? Yep. You forget how get elected in Canada. You forget how fucked up all of the middle of the country and conservative Ontario is. Yeah, like, but like I don't think you're gonna win BC. You're not gonna win Quebec, and you're probably not winning the Maritimes. But you're definitely gonna win the conservative parts of Ontario. But and I don't the, know. And Alberta's win. a fucking piece of shit. Sure, but you can't win all of Ontario because like Toronto, Ottawa. All that yeah, stuff. but it's still gonna like, like the amount of like municipalities in in Ontario. Yeah. that are like broken up, and there's like a lot of conservative ones. Huh. I mean, they fucking elected Doug Ford. So that's true, actually. So uh, here, here is a complete list of Africa. So all of them do have an age. I'm seeing a few nice thirteens. There's some thirteens, but they're not places you really want to go. Like I mean, N- N- Niger. What? Oh, that's how you pronounce it? Yes, there's only one G, Ooh, and it's French. I need to make a call. Uh, then, like the highest one. Is eighteen, Boo. and that's a lot of them. Boo. Uh, but here's the thing: uh, where's the other answer to this? Because there's some countries. Oh my god, this is fucked up. Different for De- Democratic Republic of the Congo. Yeah. For a male to have sex, I, I was gonna say different. You have for to be eighteen. Yeah. For a woman, fourteen. Hell yeah. They get it. Yeah. Uh, and then like a bunch of them have the same age as France because they're still French. Colonies, yeah. a bunch of Spanish ones. A little, ones, little Cote d'Ivoire of, action. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire is, in fact, it's independent. It's an independent nation. A little. I don't know. Is it? I don't. I don't even see it on here. I mean, it might say Ivory Coast. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Oh, oh I found it. It's eighteen. Boo. But it's an independent nation. Oh, you mean stuff actually still owned by France? Yeah. Oh, France, okay. Spain. What's still Portugal? On the... Oh shit. Like, there, look, any, all, like, all the smaller islands that are okay, awesome islands, that I think yeah. are all... So I'm like, there are any countries still, like... Uh, colonialism isn't that bad still. I yeah, mean, we but, don't have, like, Ro- Rhodesia anymore. Uh, not with that attitude, we won't. <laughs> That's true. Guys, we need to get Rhodesia back. What's uh, what's Egypt? I find I feel like Egypt is, like, probably pretty fucked up. I call Egypt 14. 18. Ugh. And then Libya and Sudan, you just have to be married. Ooh, nice loophole. So... I don't know what that means. Single digit is what that means. Uh, I, I mean, I guess if you're married at, like, four. Yeah. Uh, Libya, let's see. Da, 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 da. 
The regular age of consent was 18, but 16-year-old girls could be married as long as the parents consent. Premarital sex was illegal. Uh, after 2011 revolution, the age of consent limit was removed. Presently, presently there is no defined age. Presently. Presently. A. a- Ron. <laughs> there Present. Is, there is no defined age of consent. Uh, consent. God damn, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Although sex is not allowed outside of marriage. However, the law is practically never enforced due to the Libyan Civil War. <laughs> So do whatever. <laughs> like, look, these are the rules. These are, but none of us are gonna look either way. Like, so just do it, and we don't care. These are guidelines at best. And Sudan just says that intercourse outside of marriage is against the law. That's literally it. Fine. So I can, you know what? I can work with that. Just liter- I, yeah, here's the thing, though. That's not something I'm really interested in. Fucking a child in Sudan? Not really. Hmm. You know, like. Uh, Ghana, sure. Cameroon, maybe. Uh, Morocco, I guess. Are you guess. just basing this on their soccer teams? No, I'm just basing them on, like, they're the North and the West, and those are, like, the healthier ones. <laughs> those are the ones that the white people kind of support. <laughs> but then you go, like, deep, dark, middle. Middle, middle scary. Not interested. Yeah. If it's any of the eight countries with Congo in the name. <laughs> or Sudan. Yeah. Maybe avoid. I love that this conversation just devolves into age of consent from whatever we're talking Fairly about. Fairly regularly. All the time. Yeah. People, you, probably, yeah. people probably think we're diddlers. Because age of consent, wasn't, that wasn't like on the docket. We no. had other stuff. I mean, and... we still have one thing left on the docket before we even get to the thing the thing's about. Yeah. We should get to that. <laughs> how, are your, how are your boners? They're bad. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, pro- probably should have mentioned it like some sometime no. in the no. first half hour of this episode. Eh. Uh, th- oh yeah. <laughs> no, I, I meant it. We're past. <laughs> uh, this is the oxy episode. Well, that- it's half the oxy episode. It's oxy and weed. Yes, and unfortunately, not both by one person because Drew wouldn't let me. <laughs> you might die. You're old. I'm fine. Your I, body might give out. I can handle my stuff. The, yeah, so this is the Oxy episode we promised. For, I don't know, the first time we mentioned it would have been a long time ago. Like, halfway through the first time we started recording. Well, probably this time last year because I feel like it, it first came up on one of our porch episodes. So it must have been at least decent yeah. weather. We were hanging out on that porch a lot. Yeah. We were sort of like... A couple of porch... Hanging, hanging around and like swinging and goofing. <laughs> you know, kind of like... Like a couple um, of... Porch apes. <laughs> Some a couple of lemurs. I'm uh I'm not opposed to ending the thing right there on poor shapes. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> poor shapes. Oh, that's us. That's a hundred percent us. We're a poor shapes. Fucking rack 'em. That's Fuck. it. <laughs> rack 'em and stack 'em. Huh. Well, now we have to come back from that. Um. Yeah, so I I did the thing where I like sort of rebroke my arm. Did, did and... you rebreak it or did he just I thought he said that the plate just wasn't strong enough. Well, the plate wasn't strong enough because the bone came apart. So oh, okay. <laughs> So that would be an indication that the plate wasn't right. strong enough. I don't I don't rem- I'm, I don't remember you saying it had rebroken. I think you had jo- I thought you had jokingly said it rebroke and then wasn't sure if you were serious. I mean, it there there was a crack in the bone. So Slice it however you want. Sure. But uh, he let you wrestle with it? Yeah, he's real chill. What the I, fuck is that? I like him. Is this the same doctor that diagnosed my back injury? <laughs> yes. Did you go to Eagle Ridge Emergency? That's where I had the surgery, actually. Actually? Yeah. Maybe it was the same guy. Was he, like, vaguely Eastern European? No. Oh. He's Asian? No, super white. Oh, uh, what? He's like a surfer. He's awesome. Mm-hmm. He's, he's Does Matt Riddle do your surgery? Matt Riddle may or may not have done my surgery. Interesting. He, he did call me. He was calling me. Bro was he wearing flops while he did the surgery? Yeah, and no gloves. No <laughs> gloves. Interesting. But no, he he was cool. Yeah, and he he wanted to give me this surgery, like the surgery. No. Oh. Get don't get hopes up. For don't nothing. get me started. <laughs> but because because I wanted to work our big show, Battle Mania on on April 19th and I feel like I saw him like the very end of March mm-hmm. and he said like well, we could do it tomorrow and you'd probably be okay for that show I'm like that sounds scary <laughs> let's wait till after the show probably he's not that reassuring <laughs> yeah um so but yeah then he said I could like do the shows until I got 
the surgery again, but, not the surgery. But he couldn't do it the show after Battle Man, I guess, like just well, scheduling I, I, wise. Or? It was scheduling, yeah. But I kind of because ex- because yeah, because it was like let's say March 29th, and he offered to do it March 30th. Um, but then when I opted to do it after the show, I figured it would just be like the week after April 19th. Gotcha. But then like. They didn't call me, but they just because the schedule. I probably just weren't scheduling. Yeah, I, and I guess, I guess for the immediate one, he would have put me in as as an, as an emergency surgery, yeah. and this is an elective surgery, gotcha. basically. So I think that was just like the other surgery is an elective surgery. I mean, the other surgeries would be very elective, and I don't know. It might also kind of be an emergency. Like, doctor, I can't live in this body anymore. Actually, that's if true. I have to live in this body anymore, I'm taking this entire bottle of pills you gave me <laughs> plus the refill I got free subscribe prescribed right, for me. I told you about that refill. I'm going to take all of them <laughs> and end my life unless you give me the surgery. That's true. And will I? I want a tail here. Yeah. I want paws and claws here, yep. and I want barbs here. Yeah. Now. Now. <laughs> whiskers. Nice whiskers. Oh, and whiskers. <laughs> I want a rough tongue. Yep. I don't want any saliva glands. <laughs> I want a real. I want a bone dry. <laughs> I want a bone dry mouth. Uh, I can't wait. It's gonna be good. As I said, I will be completely unemployable, but I will be happy. <laughs> and. Ironically, still be completely transphobic, <laughs> <laughs> but but the other kind of transphobic. Yeah, yeah, to, to human dogs. To... <laughs> also that. Well, you're a cat. To, to to genders and other species. If you get any, <laughs> oh my god! If you get any trans surgery besides turning you into some kind of cat, yeah. you're mentally ill. I I really like the idea of being a trans something but still being transphobic yes like i know it exists in the world it's really fun like there there are like really really like far right conservative gays yeah but like it's it's like being it's like the uh the mike lawrence joke of the the handsome jew and the gay (laughs) guy who's not into anal you know like it's it's the trans person the trans mammal who's really anti-trans yes (laughs) And like and uh, well, then there's there's turfs too, which are also pretty funny. The mm. the tr- trans exclusionary radical feminist, yeah, like feminists who are like all for like you know female empowerment, but like well, if you turn yourself into a girl, yeah. fuck you, you can't be a man <laughs> pretending to be a woman. Yeah, they're really funny too. They are. Uh, I wouldn't say funny is the word. I would maybe say monsters. Like <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like you're you're as bad as like. The SS. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but yes, so you had to have surgery on your rebroken arm. Uh, yeah, so I had surgery on my rebroken arm. They tried to prescribe me Tylenol 3s like they did last time, too. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, look. Don't you know what I'm going through? Yeah, for. Look. Blah, blah, <laughs> opioid crisis, blah, blah. I understand. But I'm a fucking adult. I can handle my shit. Please give me the good stuff. I'm sorry that a bunch of hillbillies and street folks... I know what hillbillies means. ...can't handle their pills. But... You mean... mean. (laughs) Please give me proper narcotics. Because they live in the hills. So, they made me wait for a while, because... They had, they had given me the T3 prescription and that I basically refused it so that they had to wait for the doctor to become available. And I was like, if they make me wait all this goddamn time and then don't give me heavy opioids, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, but he did. And he's like, he came down. He's like, so you want something stronger? I'm like, I mean, yeah, like prescribing me T3s is kind of like prescribing me M&Ms. So, <laughs> so like I pop that shit and it's, it ain't nothing. Yeah. It's it's just candy coated chocolate to me, <laughs> which I'm also addicted to. Yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, so yeah, so I it, I got those. But the way he asked me when he when I finally actually got to talk to the doctor, uh, he's like, "So you want something stronger?" I uh, the way he asked it, I feel like I could have got away with more. Right. Like I like could, like I feel like I could have got sent home with a morphine drip. Nice if I had played my cards right. Yeah. But I feel like I settled for oxycodone. So, yeah. so then I got those, and then uh, on yesterday, which is four days after the surgery, which if I had taken 
the maximum prescribed dosage of the oxy every four hours, I I would have been out of the oxy. I wasn't. Uh, but I'm like, well, it's only been four days. So I emptied out the oxy and then took the empty bottle to uh, a walk-in medical clinic and told them I was out. And they looked and they ran a check on me to make sure I wasn't a junkie. Uh, came back fifty fifty, <laughs> so they're like, okay, which is uh, no, actually, but uh, no, the, the check is fine, and uh, then yeah, they then they gave me a whole whole new batch. So I've got like I'm sitting on like forty five oxys right now, but uh, that I was saying to Drew, actually more like sixty because I still have the ones I stole from my mom when she got her hip replaced. What were they? St- they weren't really stolen though, right? Because you said she didn't, she wasn't going to take them. I don't know, she was done with them. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought you said she didn't want to take them. I don't know, she took them for a bit, but, like, there there was a bunch left. I'm oh. like, well, we, it's a sin to be wasteful. That's not the only sin in your life, but... <laughs> it's the only one. Uh, so, yeah. and then, yeah, so, as a result... So, yeah, I haven't been taking the maximum dosage, but I have certainly been taking dosages. Dosage. And, um... Two things I have noticed in my new life as an opiate addict: uh, you uh, you're very constipated. You're you do not shit much, if at all, and uh, d- dick stuff is trickier. So like, <laughs> it's pretty much like sabotaged my entire downstairs. It just shuts up, shuts down your downstairs. How about peeing? Peeing's fine. Uh, peeing's fine, hmm. but Does it come yeah, really popcorny. I've had one or two popcorny ones, but that's because I was eating so much popcorn. Ah, you pee what you eat. You pee. What you eat. We eat what we like. Pussy. Um, you're yeah, not, you don't like the way you feel. You're <laughs> yeah. So as soon as I got on it, I did not shit for three days, and now I'm on a once every morning schedule. Is it a hard poop? Um, no, it's okay. I th- the first one was hard, because the first one was like a plug. Mm. <laughs> but then it just like... Yeah, it, it got moving after the first one, but it's still on a less regular schedule than it has been. And, uh... As Are you I was, scared? As I, I was scared. And as I was telling Drew at A&W earlier, uh, I have jerked off successfully once out of three attempts <laughs> in the last week. <laughs> So, it's going great. And, P.S., would 100% uh, sacrifice all of this, because uh, you, you feel great. <laughs> you, you, guys, <laughs> if you take one thing away from this podcast, get addicted to opiates. Because they make you feel great. I, I popped one with half an hour left in Nitro, and it has been smooth sailing <laughs> ever since. Uh, on a completely unrelated note... I didn't pop one before I drove the 45 minutes here, which I feel like was an extremely responsible move, but I also sort of regret it, <laughs> because it had been too long since I had one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on a completely unrelated note, this is the final podcast Scott will be doing, because he's going to die <laughs> of an overdose. It's fine. I can handle my shit. Going forward, the podcast will be just Kelly and I, uh-huh. not, watching, not Nitro, watching Nitro, and not recording a podcast. <laughs> You know what? I listen to that podcast. Just silence. <laughs> Kelly making loud chewing noises because he's eating way too fast. Just uploading an hour of silence every couple of weeks. And me just talking about Israel. <laughs> now, refresh my memory. Are they the good guys? Uh, Israel are very much the villains of the story. Or are they the ones like launching missiles at unarmed villagers? That sounds about right. Okay. I can never remember which... I can't remember who's who. Uh, quick cheap plug. Uh, go to, to Palestine. Go to Palestine. I mean, if you want to hang out with some good guys, go to <laughs> Palestine. I guess, but you will get missiles launched at you. Continue your thought, and I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, I'm just gonna say quick plug. Uh, for the latest uh movie commentary I did. Oh. Uh, I know who killed me. Cross promotion. Cross promotion. Go look up uh Adam and Pals A D U M and Pals. I know who killed me. The commentary. Uh, it features a joke I was quite proud of when the title screen for I Know Who Killed Me came up. I said, how about I Know Jews Killed Me and It's About Palestine. <laughs> That's pretty good. I was happy with it. We, but you've already seen that movie. We watched it here. Yes, I, I have now seen it twice. You 
son of a bitch. I mean, I've seen it twice, too. Why? I watched it once on my own and once on you guys. I, 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 am I not allowed yeah. to have watched if it? If we watch a movie together, you're not allowed to watch it again. Or at least... Unless it's with me. With, I can't watch with other people. No. Because that's, like, cheating That's cheating. Right okay, that's yeah. fair. I mean, eat, eating ain't cheating. Eating ain't cheating. <laughs> eating ain't cheating. <laughs> The, 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 the but watching the, the, the Clinton presidential motto, eight and eight cheating, eight and eight, 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 eight cheating, baby. Um, you uh, maybe this is just me not knowing enough about Palestine. Uh, you can't really go to Palestine, can you? I don't think like, so. They'll, they'll probably uh, you can go to Israel, cho- choppy choppy your pee pee. Yeah, you you can go to Israel and like look over. Right, but I I don't think there's like. I don't there's think you can get like an, board an, an Air Canada flight to Palestine. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna book a flight right now. To if Palestine. you can book it, if there if one exists, I will go with you. To I, Palestine. Well, if 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 you fly to Palestine, I'm booking us tickets right now. Deal. Uh, quick autism question: What's the capital of Palestine? Well, it's not a real country, so it doesn't have a Palestine. Oh. Mm. Even though, like, eighty percent of the world, like besides the United States, <laughs> recognizes it as a country. Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. Uh, probably the same reason that the U.S. sends. Uh, Billions of military funding to Israel every year, even though they don't need it. Jews. You can't just say no. Jews. <laughs> like <laughs> there has to be something more than that. Uh, Jews control the world. Uh, I thought girls run the world. Girls run the world. That's true. Don't try and fly me out of Pit Meadows. Get out of here. Hold on. There's a Pit Meadows to yeah, Palestine flight. No, just Pit Meadows in general. <laughs> All right, Palestine. Palestine, Texas? Palestine. I mean, in a pinch, we can do that one. The Palestine, Palestinian territory? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I mean, most people would call it the Palestinian country, but not Israel or the United States. All right, let's see what we got here. Give me a flight. I'm sure there is. Two. A... Sorry, no flights for the state. Oh, I'm sure there is a capital. I don't know what it is. Uh... Or, or it's just dirt. I don't know. Do they, do they have cities? I don't know, do they? I think it's just a bunch of huts in the sand. You can't fly to Palestine, my friend. That's disappointing. Bet you you can fly somewhere else and drive there. What's above it? I mean, there's like... Europe? Yeah. Europe. <laughs> you got like Israel, Jordan, Israel's around below, there. though, isn't it? Isn't it Palestine top, Israel bottom? <laughs> I mean, not uh, socioeconomically. <laughs> it's the other way around. The state of Palestine and the capital city is... Jordan might be on top of it. I'm not great on a Mideast geography. It, it doesn't have one. No, I think it's just It just says that the largest city is Gaza City, and it's the, yeah. the proclaimed capital uh, is Jerusalem. Oh, that's right, because they want Jerusalem, and that's... Uh, that's kind of a sticky wicket with uh, yeah. Israel. Uh, they got a president. They got a prime minister. Cool for them. Good stuff, boys. Uh, population. Hmm, more more people than I thought. How many? Four point eight million. Four point eight and four point seven and four point six. And you think man, they're killing that many a, a second? I think Israel is killing 100,000 Palestinians a second. Jesus. Prove me wrong. Uh, that's, what, that's what the liberal media doesn't want you to know. I can't prove that you're wrong. Of course, the, lead, the leader of the country's name is Mahmoud. I mean, you can't win them all. Uh, anyways, uh, oh, uh, uh, Palestine, good guys. P.S., do you think that uh, one joke I made on a, a like... 25 minutes of highlights commentary resulted in a whole lot of YouTube comments uh, on that very specific thing. Really? Oh, yeah. Positive or negative? Both. (laughs) (laughs) It's a real scene down there, man. Yeah. Oh, Yasser Arafat. What a guy. What a guy. (laughs) Oh, he was born in Egypt and he gets to be the leader of Palestine? I think that's bullshit. That's like... Ted Cruz being born in Canada and getting to be the president. That is... I mean, he's not the president, but... Hold on. Ted Cruz is not the president? No, he is not. How does Ted Cruz, a phenomenally white man from Canada, have a Latino last name? I don't know. Aren't his parents from Texas, though? I guess. And they... I don't know. Did one of them fuck the help or something? I don't know. Can I say that? Is that a thing you can say? Probably. Uh, How come I can't find the fucking review, Scott? For what? 
I want to read the comments. I mean, it's it's there. <sighs> there's like there's like eight hundred comments. You're gonna have to do a lot of sifting. Right, it's okay. probably it's probably up to a thousand now. Actually. You've got autism. You I'm, find them and then you send them to me. Very popular. Because you're, you're gonna do that. Uh, do people say a lot of really mean things about you, and then that you should kill yourself? No, they love me. Oh, I'm gonna say that then. I'm, I'm gonna make that comment. I'm 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 something of an internet celebrity, and you should start being nicer to me. Nah, I'm good. So I like it when you're thirsty for hangouts. It makes me feel real good. Ugh. Because you're so desperate to just see everybody, and I had like, a, we're all like, I had a, eh. I had a real sad week. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this, but like, hanging out with you sucks. What? Yeah, you're real. You're real uh, Debbie Down syndrome. <laughs> I've been told. I, I I've heard uh, the word treat come up a lot. Yeah, I've heard delight. I've heard I heard a rumor. I heard rumors by Fleetwood Mac. That was a good one. We're fifty five minutes in. Let's see if we can get through the nitro. See if we can do nitro before 15 the hour. Minutes, Fifteen uh, minutes. Oh, you're you're. <laughs> Are you up before the hour? I, mean, I thought we, we could do it. We can probably, the we, hour. Got, we got four minutes. I think we can do it. <laughs> No, we can, we can do it in 15. Okay. Uh, Nitro October 30th, 2000. Should we have said that earlier? No. No. Nah. It's in the title of the thing. You fuck, know... Fuck it. You know what you did. Uh, anyway, P.S. P.S. Uh, I love you. Our, I love you. Uh, our best preamp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least... You know what? You know what? Every episode should just be you on Oxy and me smoking weed. <laughs> and then we'll just see what happens. And then one time you let me also smoke weed. Oh... You know what? Maybe when your tolerance is a little higher. My tolerance is great. Not right now. I don't have a problem. You're drunk. <laughs> uh, we start the show with the announcement that there's a new CEO of WCW. We see the limo pull up. Nobody gets out. Surprisingly, we started the show with an actual match, which sometimes happens. Yeah. So th- this is the day after Halloween. Day after Havoc. Halloween Havoc. We got uh, Jindrak and O'Hare defending the tag team titles against uh, Ray. Uh, against Kidman and Darkest Timeline Rey Mysterio. Oh, Rey. Because Rey has grown himself a nice little goatee. Yeah, he, yeah, he's got the goatee. He's the, got what appear to be like a surgically implanted horns. They how, never come how off. How do we know they're not? Don't know. And kudos to him. Are they under his mask this whole time? <laughs> Could have been. Uh, much like a certain group of people hide them under their yarmulkes. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the Jew down the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, Ray looks stupid. He looks bad. He looks like, really o- fucking Obviously, bad. someone told him he looks 12 years old, yeah. so he grew the beard, but now he's just a 12-year-old But now he's just a 12-year-old with a goatee. Yeah, like, which is equally off-putting. Yeah, he's literally dark as timeline Ray. And the, and the pleather overalls continue. Yeah. Um, very good match. Yeah, fun. Total fuck, fuck finish, though, with the disco boogie nights. Running down, running interference, whatever. Conan brawls with them, blah, 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 blah. They, Beat them up, Jin Dragon O'Hare. Like, yeah, they, and they do the. I wish they would at least like do a move at the end, but they just like drag the guy. O'Hare, O'Hare just drag Jin Dragon on yeah. top of Ray and pinned him. Yeah, it was lame. Yeah, but it's really dumb. But. Everything after that was fun, and I love how because it started with Ray and Jin Dragon and like uh, Ray like trying to be tough and shove him, and Jin Dragon had to bend down so far <laughs> to clothesline him like, at the end of the exchange. It was yeah. so funny. Yeah, yeah, they were. Comically mismatched. Comically mismatched. Uh, after that, we get Kiwi coming out, and he, you know, no- noted uh, ultra feminine hairdresser stylist Kiwi. He's a gay coming out and cutting the most like manly badass badass butch promo. I don't understand his gimmick, and it's not it's... like he's. It's not like this promo was a gay guy. Who like was angry? Yeah, who was wronged and is angry? It's like it's a guy who said, "I'm not gonna be gay right yeah. now." Yeah, and beat you up. It's like fuck my sexual orientation. Yeah. I'm just really angry and want to fight this guy because Reno gave his finisher to Paisley on Thunder. Yes, and apparently that's enough for him to not be a homosexual. So have we been doing conversion therapy wrong? Yes. Do we just need to get them real mad and then that knocks the gay out? Maybe. We just need to get them mad at other gays. Wait. So then they'll fight our battles for us. <laughs> Are you? Does this imply that Reno is gay? 
Yes, Reno's gay. I mean, he's look a, what he wears. He does have a leather jock strap. He has the dumbest gear. So I guess he is. He has the dumbest fucking gear. It's it's, the, it's terrible. Uh, also, the dumbest hair. Like he just yeah. looks stupid. He does look hella stupid. Uh, Kiwi did refer to the natural born thrillers as the natural born ratings killers. That was pretty funny. Which is pretty funny. Uh, then Reno comes out. Uh, at one point, Mark Madden refers to that maybe Kiwi might be the the actual Kiwi O of WCW. Hmm, I hate him. He's a fat shit pig. Yeah, and I fucking hate him. That that was a long way to go. Uh, surprise, surprise. Fuck finish. Yeah, because the rest of the natural born thrillers run out and beat up Kiwi. Yeah, they they had like a uh, several minute just like hardcore yeah. hit, hit each other with stuff. Match. Guardrails and uh, garbage yeah. cans. A spray painted pink garbage can. I like the touch of the pink garbage can. Yep. Uh, but I mean, yeah, for like a hardcore match, it was it was good. Yeah, it was fine. But then just yep, fuck finish. So fuck. yeah, and like it, fuck that exactly the same as the last match. Yeah. Just heels come out, beat up the face. Yep. Other heel pins them. Yep. Uh, after that, uh, there was just a, a shit ton of talking. Uh, MIA come out and like uh, because they won the U.S. title back from Storm. Uh, he cuts some uh, general erection Man, and like some. big effort to get general erection over. Yeah, like, like it's a real fanfare event. Like he comes out, they made a real big deal about it. He starts like, cutting a promo, they're trying to make him a thing. Then the rest of the MIA come out and then the with whole, major guns again. Yeah, then the whole face then locker the room whole comes face out. locker room comes out and like gives him a standing ovation at the top of and the he ramp. Pre- pretends to cry, and then out comes Goldberg. Yeah, who then says that like. You know, Call, calls him Hugh Morris. He calls him Hugh Morris, and then says because like, Goldberg you know, doesn't care. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Because uh, he's better than. I just tells him like you know, don't think that the boys don't know all the things you've done for this company or You're whatever. You're gonna be an asshole head trainer one day, and it's like, uh, do they know all the things? You, like, don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then Lance comes on the overhead and cuts a promo, but we fast forward to it because we didn't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, the only note I literally wrote down was there was a giant USA chant. Yeah, and then Goldberg essentially just sucks Hugh Morris's dick. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess everyone sucks Hugh Morris's dick. Yeah, then they all come down. They have like a big hug fest at ringside and whatever. And, and we're like, what is this? Yeah, that, I don't, I don't. Uh, then we immediately cut to commercial and come back to David Flair coming out, and David Flair has the DNA results from after the pay per view because the pay per view was a DNA first blood match. Yeah, which so I, the first person to, to bleed, bleed gets their to, DNA tested has to give the other person a semen sample there and then in the ring in their mouth. Yes, and then, they and then that person mouth transports the, it by their mouth to to the lab. Yeah, okay. So David's got the revealed paperwork in his hand. He opens it and uh, says that the doctor said that. There is a 99.5% chance... Nine. It was on nines. It was nine. 99.9% chance that Marcus Buff Bagwell... Yeah, they use his nickname in the lab work. I don't <laughs> feel like the doctor would call him Buff. I feel like the doctor would call him by his legal government name. Maybe the doctor's a wrestling but fan. But maybe the rest of the, maybe the doctor's a wrestling fan. Maybe the doctor is Judy Bagwell. Maybe the doctor is Julius Irving. Oh, he is a doctor. Yep. Fucking right, so a doctor. <laughs> Uh, to reveal... He definitely uses the big condoms. Definitely uses the big condoms. Uh, 99.9% chance that, uh, Buff isn't the father of Stacy's baby. And David's mad. And so he's mad, and then out comes Am I Smooth... To the the best music. To the best fucking music. It's like a Santana, like, guitar riff. Yeah, it's... It's, like, real, like, sexual and, like, you know, real Latin sounding, and it's fucking great. Yeah, he, he has fucked to this music. Uh, he's gonna fuck David to this music in a couple seconds. Yes. So, M.I. Smooth comes out and then cuts a kind of confusing promo. I don't really understand. Because... He, he's, he was basically like... Because he's the one who told David that... That, that Stacy had been fucking around on him. With and then, and then gave him the tape... Yeah. That had Stacy and Buff, Buff like flirting it. with each other. Yeah. So but I, then I, I'm he un- says, I'm I never told you that Buff was the father of the baby. I just said, I just said that they were messing around. <laughs> and then just like kind of called him stupid and was like, Buff's mad at me, so now I'm mad at you, so I'm going to get in the ring and kick, kick your, your fucking ass. ass. And he did. And he did, but like, so <laughs> he starts taking, so he takes off his pants and his jacket 
to get yeah. in the ring. He's got boots on and gear, but he's wearing a faux uh, like mock turtleneck. Where's Steve Jobs' black mock turtleneck? Over the top of his gear, yeah. which we hypothesized It's, it's was... either bikers or the biker bottoms of a singlet. Yes. So we hypothesized that the singlet... It's straight up his ice train. ...is his ice train singlet, but he wasn't going to bother getting MI smooth gear. Yeah. So he just had to wear the turtleneck <laughs> to cover up the big Where ice train. Where it ice train all over it. <laughs> But he he kicked David Flair's ass. Just squashed, he just did. Kicked his he ass. did a fucking awesome Big E like running off the ropes, jump in the air, splash. He got oh my well, hella good air. Well, yeah, he got great air. But the splash, like he somehow almost head spiked, like himself. overshot yeah, David. Yeah, like his because like his head was going down faster than his legs. So he like almost like like he landed like Brock landed on the shooting yeah. star, <laughs> but just doing a, a running splash. Yeah, it was amazing. And then he finished him with with the uh, that's not a bubble bomb, but the the full Nelson break your ass move. That's a bubble bomb, is it? Yeah, it's a bubble bomb. Okay, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't remember if just like the power bomb was was no, a bubble bomb. A bubble. Okay, uh, yeah. He finished him with the bubble bomb, pinned him clean. Yeah, like just squashed David Flair. Yeah. Uh, then Pretty I looked. Funny. Then I looked, and he literally only has three more matches in in, in his career. 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 <laughs> I want to find out what what Ice Train's up to now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go car dealership. Rick, that seems like his style. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, so then, next out comes the Boogie Nights. Or he and Scott Norton opened a restaurant. I together. would imagine that Scott Norton probably has never talked to him after Aww. 1997. That'd make me sad. I hope they're still friends. I bet you they're not friends. Aww. I bet you Scott's uh, priorities are a little high. I mean, he's a fucking former IWGP world champion. So is and Sam. He's, and he's going to fu- hang out with fucking Ice Train. Oh, so who, who's Scott Norton going to hang out with? Uh, Salman Hashmikov yes, and Sapp. Tadao Yasuda. And uh, Jay White. Jay White. And uh, who are you looking for? I'll help you. I got them all. I, my brain's. I got them all in order. I'm too high to talk. Uh, cool. Let the guy on Oxy step in. Yep. Sorry, I don't want to tell you. Uh, Are we looking for someone specific? Or just trying to Fujita. Think? Ah, Kaz Fujita. Yeah. Kaz Fujita. Kaz Fujita. Multi-time champion. Multi-time champion. One was an accident. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> Bob Sapp's fucking retarded. Oops. Um, and also not tough at all. Uh, Hardhead. Uh, next was the Boogie Knights came out to cut a promo, presumably about jumping Jinder and O'Hare. I don't know. I fast forwarded. Who gives a shit? Uh, Goldberg came down, beat their asses. Yeah. Cut a promo like, about dangerously tossed them out of the ring. Dangerously tossed them out of the ring. Talked about how he's going to beat Chronic's ass again, even though he beat them clean at the pay per view. And even though we and, see Chronic in a and then, sort of different, and then setup. takes off his shirt and throws it in the crowd. Takes off his hat, throws it in the crowd, yeah. and then just leaves. Like, cool. Goldberg's a uh, real badass. I wish I had a sweaty Goldberg hat. Uh, me too. Or a shirt that's way too big for me. <laughs> uh, so Mike Sanders comes out next. He starts to cut a promo about whatever, fast forwarded it. Then the new CEO comes out, which is Nature Boy Rick Flair. So it's not the Kwee It's not the Kwee Wee-O. It's too bad. Uh, Fl- I thought Flair did, t- did say some, like, for what we watched of the promo, he did say some kind of funny things. Like, yeah. one of them was when he said to Mike Saunders, like, like, hey, I'm Rick Flair. I used to be a legend around here, but now I'm retired. And then yeah. you and I just, like, look at each other, like, yeah, we're retired. You definitely didn't wrestle for another 14 years. When was um, his last TNA match? 2013, 2012? Maybe 11. 2011? Yeah. Did, did he... Yeah, okay, so yeah, another 11 years. Yeah. More but than like, a decade. he wrestled a ton in WWE. He wrestled full-time in yeah. WWE for years. Yeah. Without a shirt, and he wrestled with a shirt at the end of WCW. Which Vince made him. What the fuck? Very strange. Anyways. Um, oh, what a slap in the face to Flair to be like, you're, Rick, you're wearing a shirt. Uh, so Flair comes out, reveals himself as the CEO, tells Sanders that him and the Natural Born Thrillers aren't going to be able to pull their bullshit tactics anymore, yep. and that Sanders is going to have to wrestle the Cat later on. And Even though they, they wrestled last night. Even though they wrestled last night, but Cat lost by count out due to Natural Born Thrillers in, in a ki- In a kickboxing match. In a kickboxing match. match. Count out. Yeah. Cool. Um, he also then talks about how... He's bringing back Lex Luger because Lex Luger is like the heart and soul of WCW or whatever, and he did him solid at the pay per view by watching David's back, blah, blah, blah. So then we cut to commercial and come back. Luger comes down, uh, talks about how he's back. I'm fucking back, baby. Was he gone? Yeah, he, he hadn't been on TV for a All long right. time because him and Russo had that big falling out when he wanted right. Liz and Kimberly to wrestle. That's and when Liz right. and Kimberly left, Lex was sort of like, yeah. fuck you, I'm leaving too. Yeah, because like Lex. Yeah, Lex. Liz. Lex and Flair were a team. Yeah. No, the, the ones who... is There's like Lex, Liz, Kimberly, Kim, Page. DP? Yeah. That might be it. Yeah. 
DDP is still not back. DDP hasn't been back he, yet, and he, neither has Liz or Kimberly. I don't know if either. I don't of them know if either of them do. Yeah. DDP does come back yeah. to form the Insiders with Kevin yes. Nash, which is probably coming very soon. Very soon, yeah. Uh, so Luger cuts the promo. He then challenges Buff to a fight, and he said, "Like, let's do it later tonight." Buff comes out, says, "Why do we wait till later? Let's just do it now." So they have a match in street clothes, leaving us to figure out who is the face. Uh, well, here's the thing. Or who's the heel? Here's the thing, Scott. Both of them were both. Because yeah. they both did heel things, and they both did face things. Yeah. And but like, after the promo that Flair cut, Luger was the face. Yeah, because Flair, the, Flair was talking about Lex like a face. After the DNA results and David Flair, like, trying to frame Buff, Buff, Buff is, the is the face. Yeah. But then when they came out, both of them played face, and both of them played heel. Yeah. Like, Luger maybe played heel a little more. I guess. Because, like, he, like, was using chair. Yeah. And then because of the, ba- the blockbuster on Slick Johnson that was fucking great. Which was good. He, yeah. pu- he pulled the referee in the way of a blockbuster. It was nice. And it was really good. Um, I I like stuff like that. It's It's not realistic at all, but I love, like... Pulling a guy in the way of like a more complicated move than a strike, mm-hmm. like because like Dragon Gate does a lot, where like a guy pulls someone in front of him and he takes Dragon Kid's springboard Rana. Yeah, like yeah. I love shit like that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. really good. I like that stuff. Um, and then uh, Luger uh, gives him the torture rack and wins. Yeah, uh, whatever. Luger, like I said to Scott, I I in my entire <laughs> life, I I'm like I'm pretty sure that I started watching for a guy you've seen so much. I started watching wrestling. I think the first like video I ever saw was SummerSlam '92. Was the okay. first video I ever saw. So I've been watching wrestling since whenever that got put on VHS. Yeah. So in right. late late ninety two early or early ninety three right and then from there on I like literally watched everything all the time yeah there's never been a wrestler that is more predominantly featured on both WWE and then later when I watched WCW yeah. that I have never <laughs> once in my life given a fuck about when him and Brett both won the Rumble all I remember thinking was how mad I was that, it that they just that Brett. they wouldn't just let Brett win yeah um, when he beat Yokozuna. Uh, by count out, but not for the title. Yep. I was like, "This is stupid." <laughs> uh, like, I, the, the, literally, the only thing I can think of is the scoop, like slamming Yokozuna on the what is it, the SS Ronald Reagan or whatever. Yeah, it was. Uh, the, it was the <laughs> SS Ronald Reagan. <laughs> um, but like, that's literally the only thing that I can even like. To me, the dumbest thing, I, like the only thing I remember about Lex Luger was his stupid feud with Ludwig Borga, Same. because I remember thinking, uh, "A Finnish bad guy." That, what was that? Fr- or no, he was Estonian, wasn't uh, he? Something like that. Uh, what the same thing? It, it was that fresh off Borga ending Tatanka streak. Was that like his yes. next feud after Tatanka? Yes. Yeah. But like, like I, I don't think I've ever cared less about a person who was a main eventer. My like my almost my entire adult life at one point. Yeah. And it's like, uh, like you're literally nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's, I I don't know if I can think of somebody else. I mean, like. Definitely, like Jarrett might be in the conversation, but like watching WCW again, like J- yeah, Jarrett. He, he did some. Another good he did example. some good, good stuff ish, and he did some pretty decent stuff in TNA. I mean, Jarrett's a much better wrestler than Lex, yeah. but just he likes so much bullshit. Yeah, just like he loves run-ins yeah. and weapon he, shots. He, he and loves like ref bumps, acting storyline. Yeah. And like gimmicky stuff more than wrestling, but he has had some good wrestling. That's the thing. Well, that, that's he's real hit or miss. I mean, that, that's the disappointing thing about Jerry is like under different circumstances, he'd probably be re- regarded very highly because he's good at wrestling. Yeah, like the the rare times he actually does it and does like a long clean match. Yeah, like it's good. Like you know, like some stuff in Memphis when he's younger. There's some good yeah. stuff there, and like the Sean match in '95 is really good. Mm. And yeah, so he's done with that. Yeah, but like, yeah, he's capable of like really good wrestling. But he would just much rather do bullshit, bullshit. like get fat and get in trouble in Mexico. Yeah, and be a, just a raging alcoholic and steal Kurt Angle's wife after his wife died. Respect, bitch. Yeah, I said. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait till my wife dies and I can steal Kurt Angle's new wife. <laughs> mm, you saw her on that. Table for three, though. You don't want that. Um, no. No, they all look like, uh... If you had a choice. Um, I'm trying to remit this. So there's Rebby Sky. Yeah. Mrs. Angle. And Mrs. Orton, who was the one that had the really bad 
like Bronx accent. Oh yeah, she looked like a Jersey Shore extra. Yeah. Um, the answer is the yeah, correct answer is none of them. I would be gay. Oh, it was, it was, <laughs> it was a trick question. One of your classic tricks. It's more of that gotcha journalism of yours. I would be a bottom for Rainy. Is what I would be. <laughs> um, uh, so then next, out comes Palumbo and Stasiak with Coach Nash. And then out comes Chronic, who last night were super heels against Goldberg 2 on 1. Yeah, and who on this very show, Babyface Goldberg just said, I'm not done with you, yeah, I'm going to get I'm you. I'm going to kick your ass. And here they are. As baby faces. As straight up baby faces. Straight up baby faces getting pops. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. It's like... Like Nitro was written in two halves and like they didn't speak to each other about right. it. Two different writers wrote the show yeah. and there was no communication between the two. Yeah. One guy thought, yeah, Chronic's back to faces and the other guy's like, oh, let's keep doing Goldberg versus Chronic. <laughs> um, yeah. So the two things that we, in this match, were one, uh, Chuck Palumbo... Uh, very obviously can only throw super kicks from one side. That was so cute. Because uh, Brian Clark put Stasiak in the position like he was setting up for the meltdown. No, for a powerbomb? Powerbomb. For a powerbomb. Chuck got blind tagged in before the powerbomb was set up, gets in the ring, and... So he could have stood, like, right at their corner where he just came tagged in from and throw a super kick. However... However, he did the old basketball he kick, does kick close. Basketball defense shuffle. Kick close, kick close, kick close, kick close. All the way around the ring to to where he's in, like, Chronic's corner. Yes, but also went all the way around the ring in front of Brian Clark. Like, yes. not behind oh, yeah. him. No, Clark watched him do the whole shuffle. Yeah. The Super Bowl shuffle. Got, got within, like, centimeters of Brian Adams. Yes. And then threw the super kick. Yes. That he could have just thrown. Because he could only throw it that but, way. But, like you said, he was going hard cam. Yes. So, I was secretly say, He could have smart... just turned yeah. 180 in his own corner yeah. and thrown the super kick that way. But, he would have had his back to the hard cam yeah. there. And you always play to the hard cam. Yes. So, in a weird, stupid way, he was professional yeah. about it. He, he he was too trained. Like, he was over-trained. Yes. So he couldn't think outside of exactly what his training was. Yeah. Which, I have an opinion about that and a certain uh, gender of wrestlers who get <laughs> trained and then wrestle. Uh, but I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, huh. what, but... What gender could it be? We did realize... There's, well, there's so many there's genders. There's so many genders. There's so many genders now. <laughs> Third to keep track. Um, we did realize, though, that, like... Chuck is a little underrated. He's not like, bad. He bumps really well, and then he, he was can tr- do athletic stuff. Sometimes he, was trying he tries to, be, yeah. to do two athletic stuff. He was trying stuff. to be a cruiserweight in this match. Yeah, he did he, like up and over in the corner into a head scissors. Into a head scissors. But the thing is, like, that move, you're supposed to have your legs straight. Yeah. But because like, he's bent. too long, yeah. he had to like, bend his knees. Yeah. And then he did a spring, like the Jericho drop kick off the second rope, like yeah. spring and drop kick him off the apron. So, like, but then, and then he took like a really fucking good uh, high times. Yep. Which was great. Yep. Like so he you know like he's not a great wrestler, but he's yeah. like well trained. Like he takes good bumps, and for the most part, he like is in the right position. Yeah, maybe not. Except oh, except when he does the the shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> um, and one thing from this was that he Mark Madden referred to. Brian Ad- Brian Clark did a move, oh, yeah. and he said that he cuts like a knife, and then he goes, oh, wait, that's Brian Clark and not Brian Adams. And I was like, Ugh, Damn it. Get out of here. Kill yourself, you fat pig. How are you not dead? You know what? I'm going to create another fake Twitter account, and I'm just going <laughs> to shit talk Mark Madden all the time. I, I hope by the end of this podcast you have at least a dozen fake Twitter accounts. Yeah. I mean, I got one, yeah. so I can get more. Um... So after that, then we got Mike Sanders versus the Cat, which was literally a cat squash match. Also, it was it's at this point jarring to see Mike Sanders in gear, in gear, and like actually in the ring wrestling. Yeah, because uh, most of I the time I wasn't ready he's for not. it. Yeah, but yeah, Cat uh, just straight up squashed him. Yep, just kicked his ass all around ringside, brought him inside, big kick, hit the feliner, hit the feliner. Should I do a move called the feliner? Should you do a move called? The I'll feliner? do a move called the feliner. Can I just do the feliner? No, it's stupid. No. <laughs> uh, what if I do your move? So I do the Rainmaker. Okay. But, like, I let them go, and then I do the feliner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I did I did have some good uh, move ideas that we'll go over after the podcast. Excellent. Um, but Cat wins. He celebrates. 
On the overhead, though, is Shane Douglas, yep. who then tells the cat that, like, you're so busy dealing with these guys that you forgot that you've got a problem with me, and now you're going to have a bigger problem because I got something that belongs to you. Camera pans out, and he's got Miss Jones, Can't who then... keep your own shit in who, check. Who then slaps Shane Douglas, and he goes, you bitch, bitch. picks her up, gives her a rib breaker, yep. and then just, like, lets her go, and then <laughs> the cat, like, books it up. And it's like, like, literally the only good thing about Shane Douglas is that he's not afraid to call women bitches. It's it's, it's not a nitro until Shane Douglas yeah. calls a woman like, a bitch. I don't need to see him wrestle. No. Nah. But I'll listen to him talk. Absolutely. As long as he's saying things about women. Yeah. He's a regular sh- uh, Disco Inferno. <laughs> Glenn Gilberti. Current Disco Inferno. Current Glenn Gilberti. Yeah, they can't I'll... call him Disco Inferno. I figured. Uh, that is, yeah, that was the highlight of that. Uh, other than that, nothing, like, nothing else. And then after that, we had Scott Steiner coming out. Steiner cuts a promo. Oh, well, I fast-forwarded, uh-huh. and I fast-forwarded through a Booker T promo, which I'm sure we missed some information, but whatever. I also fast-forwarded through a Mike Awesome promo, which ended up kind of probably might confusing us, us a little bit, because something. we had forgotten that Mike Awesome won that Battle Royal, like, whenever a, a couple shows ago, uh, for, a for, for a future title shot. Yeah. But they never said when the title shot was. Uh-huh. And so Steiner comes out and cuts a promo about how last night he essentially made Booker his bitch. Yeah. And even Steiner though... Seemed- he, off his game promo He was really wise. fumble-mouthy. Yeah. Like, he always is, but, but but this was... This was less charming than usual. Yeah, this was like, he wasn't very hydrated. Yeah. And he maybe only got a couple hours of sleep. Maybe he got, maybe he got sandpaper tongue. Maybe he got sandpaper tongue. Yeah. Maybe he got his salivary glands removed. <laughs> uh, um, just like your adenoids or like your, uh, yeah. your gallbladder. <laughs> you just get your salivary glands removed, then you don't, you don't, uh... Yeah. When you're talking... But he pretty much says that, like, last night he beat up Booker and everybody saw him, like, you know, he put him in the Steiner recliner and then Booker was screaming like a bitch. Yeah. Steiner called him the N-word. And then he called him the N-word a couple times. Yeah. And then uh, Booker comes out. They start the match. Yeah. We're so, like, we're, so we're like, oh, it's just okay, it's, it's, it's a rematch, a rematch, rematch from Havoc. But yeah. then, like, the commentator starts saying, like, well, where's Mike Awesome? And we're like, and we're well, like why would Mike Awesome why, be Why has he got to be involved in this? So then Mike Awesome runs down. How about Kike Awesome? And? And he hates Palestine. (laughs) (laughs) But why would he call himself Kike? (laughs) That's the great mystery. (laughs) He's taking it back. But is it... It's a real poor shape. Is it like... I don't... (laughs) (laughs) Taking it back. I know know you haven't seen this movie, but is it a real... um, Back to the Future 3, where Mad Dog Tannen gets given the name Mad Dog, Only one and two, he doesn't friends. like Mad Only Dog, one two. I, I so would... it's like Palestine gave him the nickname Kike Awesome, <laughs> and that's why he hates Palestine. Ooh, that would make sense. Like, uh, he's not necessarily a Jew. I mean, he would be a Jew if he was a Kike. Sure. But that, that's the nickname that everybody calls him, and he hates it, because yeah. he hates Palestine. That would make sense. Uh, I haven't seen it. I was given permission to not watch three by that coworker. You don't need He to. said I only had to watch you, one and two. You also don't really need to see two. Did you see two? I have seen two. Did you see all of the Trump esque things in it? <laughs> it's something. It's it's weird, right? Yeah. It's real I bizarre. Think, I'm trying to think if I No, I would have seen it in the Obama administration. So oh. it didn't resonate as Trumpy at the you time. Should, well but. we should rewatch it at some point because a lot of the stuff that Biff does like in like when the future gets fucked up. It's just Trump. It's it's hundred percent Trump. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Um, but so at some point, then Bish is grabbing people by the pussy. <laughs> grabbing people by the pussy. Um, sometimes they want it. Uh, when you're famous, awesome, awesome. Literally, at one point, just runs down, gets in the ring, starts jumping Steiner. So then Booker and Awesome beat up Steiner, and we're like, "How is this not a DQ?" Yeah. And then Steiner gets dumped, and then Awesome starts attacking Booker, and then the commentators say They're like. Booker could lose the title without even being pinned. They were like, oh, this so is officially it is a three-way. And then they made reference so to it, it, whatever the name of the Battle Royal was. They oh, it was made, dumb, it was dumb, it was dumb. Uh, Countdown to Count, Armageddon. Countdown to Armageddon. Yeah. They made the reference to that, so then we were like, oh, this is the match. So, uh, yeah, so it was a three-way. Uh, it was pretty good. How about Hooker T? And he takes loads in the mouth I for money. I bet he would. <laughs> Uh, and I would say Scott Geiner, but I say that almost lot. every we episode. Should, we, we need to do like a like a Chikara or an interspecies wrestling type thing. Yeah, where we just make people wrestle as those the gimmicks we come up with. Ooh, I like that. So if somebody's Hooker T. Somebody's <laughs> Kike Awesome. 
Somebody Scott Geiner. I'm not sure what Scott Geiner would be. Just the, like an even the, more masculine more, Scott Steiner. Yeah, because... Even more bro Yeah, because the definition of Scott Geiner is it's Scott, Scott Steiner, but <laughs> men, for, but men only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... So the match, the match was pretty good. Like Austin did some good, like some good stuff. I mean, all three of them are pretty solid wrestlers. Uh, yep. The finish was really good. I like the finish. Yeah, and but, and shockingly clean, surprisingly clean finish. So Steiner puts Awesome in the recliner. Yeah. Booker hits the like jumping sidekick and hits Steiner mm. in the face. Yep. And then dumps him out of the ring. As he's dumping him out of the ring, Awesome gets up and tries to hit like his big running lariat. Yeah. Which Booker ducks, catches, book and finish. Yeah, it was good. It was really, really solid. And yeah. then Steiner like goes to get back in the ring. Booker's ready to fight him. Security comes down. Steiner beats up security and then starts to leave. Booker gets on the mic and then says, like, look, like, says, you're, like, like you're a pussy-ass nigger, Steiner. Like, get back in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> so Steiner has to come out to, like, and he's like, you know, let's finish this here and now. Like, you, like, one-on-one, let's go. Yeah. And Steiner's Steiner like, okay. And then the show ends. <laughs> yeah. Like, they should have done it. But I guess they're saving it for, like, like the title change comes pretty soon, I think. It's like yeah, it's, it's, it's got to either be the next night. It's before or... the next pay per view. Yeah, so it might be next. It's week. It's got to be soon. Yeah, and that he holds till the last day, right? Uh, he holds it till the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty five minutes, not bad. Pretty good, not bad. We didn't do fifteen. Whatever, still good. Uh, uh oh, I mean, o- overall, not like a terrible nitro. No, and. Uh, yeah, the way it we seem to go pretty like speedy. You well, know? we fast forwarded a lot. <laughs> well, there was a lot of promos, yeah. right? Like, yeah, no, like, this was the way we watched it was decently enjoyable because yeah. there was like a, several okay matches, some minus the finishes, and then we fast forwarded all the bullshit talking, and uh, yeah, then it was good. Then I, I popped uh, I popped some heavy opioids and uh, opioids. A tricky word, tricky word, especially when you're high. <laughs> That's uh, three vowels in a row. Okay. <laughs> three vowels, too many. Three vowels, some of which are the same. <laughs> They're just like a dog trying to talk. Like Kelly, stupid dog. That's why Kelly's not on this one because Kelly forgot how to talk. Yeah. Also, because he licks his own butt. Yeah. And we have to keep. He, 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 he keeps eating candles that are shaped like food. <laughs> We, we gotta hold him down and pull it out of his we, mouth. We got some decorative candles that are shaped like macarons, and he keeps eating them. <laughs> we have to keep slapping them out of his mouth. <laughs> you idiot. You stupid bitch. You're as dumb as a dog. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. 